Thank you very much. I would like uh, to start uh, by saying that uh, I would like uh, to express my gratitude uh, to the previous uh, speakers uh, because uh, you really took us in the picture of uh, what is going on here in your regions. Talking about uh, agriculture of uh, the Far East, uh, we really have a huge growth potential here. and. Today, I would like uh, to speak about uh, Japanese and Russian cooperation in terms of uh, agricultural development in the Far East. And uh, sure, we can uh, remember Prime Minister Shinzo visit uh, Russia last April where cooperation in the Far East was discussed. And naturally, Japanese government is interested in development of our relations in terms of agriculture and food production. And talking about food production in the Far East, the potential to grow our relations is really huge. And of course, uh, Japan has a pretty restricted uh, area, but Russia has uh, really huge uh, territories uh, in its uh, Far East, uh, and uh, as well it has uh, large water and fish resources. And our country has uh, high technologies uh, in terms of agriculture and food production. And we are geographically located close to Russia. And uh, we have uh, huge opportunities uh, for really deep uh, interaction. And uh, in terms of uh, food production, we carried out a market research and uh, it uh, proved uh, that uh, the companies interested in agribusiness uh, are growing. For example, uh, Nikki uh, is uh, going uh, to launch a greenhouse uh, next year in uh, Russia to grow different uh, plants. And last month, We had uh, in Khabarovsk, Blagovishensk, Vladivostok, and other regions different researches. We visited uh, different companies of the Russian Far East, and we considered uh, investment uh, into companies uh, in the Russian Far East. And in Japan, we grow a lot of rice, uh, corn, and soybeans. We do not, uh, practically do not import them. But our culture, as you might know, has a culture of uh, consuming soybeans uh, and uh, oil seeds. Soybeans uh, are really popular in uh, different kinds of production. and. Talking about uh, beans, uh, that is a, a common culture for all Southeast Asia. And we would also like uh, to support cooperation in the Russian Far East uh, to grow organic food. Of course, uh, in the Far East, uh, we would. Uh, like to have uh, exchange with uh, Primorye cities. And regrettably, now uh, we do not uh, use uh, water routes and aviation routes uh, as we used to. But uh, we would like uh, the forest economy to grow which will be really essential for intercity and interpeople exchanges. And we hope that we would be able to deepen our 
relations and to make them warm, fruitful. And uh, you also know that uh, Asia has a huge market of food. And uh, we have a huge potential to grow food in the Russian Far East. As for the international market, a lot uh, depends on uh, the cost of uh, production, which also incorporates logistics. And as for Russia, it is located close to Japan, and it is much closer than uh, America, for example. And uh, the way that uh, products take from Russia to Japan is uh, not uh, long, which uh, makes it really good for further development. And now I would also like to touch upon the topic of uh, food chains. And discussing uh, the production and uh, delivery process, we meet a whole chain that starts with uh, production, processing, then uh, logistics, and then supply to end uh, user. And uh, all the parts of this chain uh, have to be very uh, well uh, considered. And uh, processing actually adds a lot uh, to the price of uh, products, and logistics adds even more. Therefore, we need the Therefore, we need uh, uh, the end customer to evaluate uh, what we produce. And, of course, in our country, we have a very high level of uh, product uh, processing. And every time we try uh, to ensure the quality is as high as possible. And depending on that, Inside Russia, inside the Russian market, we can create a fairly good uh, food uh, supply chain, uh, which could be um, evaluated not only in Russia, but also abroad, outside Russia. And we would like to contribute to developing the agriculture in Russia. If uh, we would discuss agriculture in f the Far East, starting from production and logistics and uh, supply to the end customer, let's try to build a, um, a good supply chain. Also, I would like to cover business uh, having to do with Russia. Of course, if we would talk about the Japanese people who had experience of doing business with Russia, many of them would complain that due to a long logistics uh, chain and uh, substandard infrastructure, the cost goes up. And we have to resolve problems with the logistics chain. To this end, uh, from both sides, from Russia and from Japan, we need to unite our efforts on sorting out this problem. Of course, if only uh, producers try to sort out the problem with the logistics chain, it would be very challenging. So we also need to uh, entrust resolving those problems uh, to the government. And, of course, the agriculture and fisheries and forestry of Japan, uh, they need to interact with the agriculture, fishery and forestry of Russia. And regarding um, production facilities, we want to create some chances for interaction between our um, production enterprises, and we highly appreciate 
uh, your aim um, to cooperate with our country and regarding developing of businesses it's essential that the governments of the two countries support projects and interchange opinions uh, and experience and of course we would like that after uh, Prime Minister Abe Shinzo visits Russia we could go up to a new level in our relations and if we would talk about the development of uh, relations in agriculture this could be a good uh, impetus and of course we will try to understand the needs and uh, the needs of Russians. Thank you so much.